Okay, um, I wanted to do something a little bit different today um, and talk about something that's been kind of a common theme. It's my kids screaming in the background. That's probably not going to stop. Um, a lot of people, myself included, have been talking about like sleepless nights lately. I'm going to do my makeup while I'm talking. Um, I already did my skin prep for today. I moisturized and put on sunscreen. Um, so my husband has a rotating schedule. Um, we purposely don't say what he does for our security and protection, um, but he does work nights, and he has been for a long time. He's been in his job for, this is the 13th year, um, and so a lot of times I'm alone at night, which means bath time, supper time, bedtime, overnights by myself, which can be very worrisome, um, very like anxiety field time. So, I've kind of learned over the years a couple things to help when anxiety is high, especially at night. Um, and I have a couple of verses I'm going to share too at the end, so if that's not your thing, you don't need to watch this whole video, but um, I'm a believer. I have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, um, and that has really helped me. So I'm going to share some of these verses and prayers that have helped me. My kids are apparently dying. They're watching a movie and they're fighting, so I'm not worried. I can hear that they're fighting over the remote. I am going to pause, though, because here they come. Okay, not the remote, a toy, and they're just fine. Um, so, um, this is my foundation. Um, I don't know where I was at. This is real life, you guys. My kids are nuts. Um, so... One thing that I learned a long time ago, and this is, I can talk about this in another video, but I was hospitalized for major depression, and it was while I was pregnant, um, and one thing that I did during that time, I was having suicidal ideations, which is very scary when you're pregnant, but same thing, like the nights got to me, the nights when he was gone and when he would leave to work, and I'd be really upset, so... Um, one thing I learned during my hospital stay was to have a support system. And one of the people that they really encouraged you to find and to think of was your 3 a.m. person. Um, and there is a group in our church that talked about the same thing. They called it something different in the hospital. But it's basically that person who's always going to be there if you're in a crisis situation. Um, or And this doesn't need to be like mental health crisis, but just if you're having a hard time and you can't Talk to your spouse or your best friend or whatever. So who's that person who's always going to be available to take your call? Um, and so for me, it's my best friend, Becky. Hey, Becky. Um, and I talk to her about this, especially like when I'm having a hard time, I'll let her know I'm not okay. Um, and she'll leave her phone on if she needs to. We've called each other ridiculous hours before or send a text, hey, I'm not okay. Here's what's going on. And just to have that person to reach out to has been very helpful. Just to know that there's that person to reach out for, to sometimes is super helpful. Again, um, I'm a believer, so I do pray as well and read the Bible, but not everyone does. Um, so that's not a resource for everyone, I would say. But I'm going to share some verses that I think are pretty applicable and that most people can relate to. So I'm going to grab my book. This is Bible Promises for Moms. Um, okay, so this one I really like. When you can't sleep because of worry, this is Matthew 6, 34. Don't worry about to tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. And when you're running yourself ragged, Psalm 127, 2. It's useless for you to work so hard from early morning until late at night, anxiously working for food to eat, for God gives rest to his loved ones. Um, and the last one, when you need to be reminded that God does not sleep so that you can this is Psalm 121, 1 to 4. I look up to the mountains. Does my help come from there? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let you stumble. The one who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel never slumbers or sleeps. So again, this is the book, Bible Promises for Mom. I think it's like $2 on Amazon. Um, it's very cheap. This has been fantastically helpful to me. There is a table of contents in the beginning. Any like circumstance, sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus. Anything that you could imagine, you can just look up in the index, something that I'm experiencing 
I need help with, here's one, we struggled with infertility. So there's a page about infertility um, and where the author talks about her struggles and then shares some verses or a prayer. And this book has just been like unbelievably helpful to me. All right, I thought I was gonna get my whole makeup done while I was done with this, but I didn't. So I have no eyebrows on now, but that's my like basic makeup routine. Um, and I just wanted to share, you know, a little bit of encouragement about that. I know a lot of people struggle with anxiety or with sleep or rest. So hopefully this finds you encouraged today. Have a great day. Bye.